It's Amani here. Hello, Amani. Hi, Amani. How are you? Right. Very well, thank you. Very well. Good. Lots of questions to ask you. Awesome. Who could have thought <laughs> that, a, that a musician and a neuroscientist could come together and do such an incredible project? Tell us how you got to be in the same room and how this project came about. Well, I'll take that one. Um, the music actually introduced us. John Vitale, the co-founder of the company and myself, started this, uh, started Focus the Will about five years ago. We launched a, a product and uh, we got a, a lot of users and uh, Dr. Julia, uh, Dr. Julie Mossbridge, who's sitting with me today, was one of our somewhat early users. And when uh, we needed to get some solid science around the thing that we were building, um, I reached out to Julia, because she's the most, one of the most renowned scientists in this space in the world. And I called her up and said, hey, um, is there anyone that you know that might be interested in, in uh, working for us? And you said what, Julia? Well, I said, baby me. <laughs> I was impressed with what they were doing, and I just couldn't, I, I wanted to understand what was going on, so it was actually rather selfish, because I just thought this would be a great project to try to figure out what's changing in my own brain, as well as those of other people who are listening to this. I picked my jaw up off the floor, and I said, great, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't play a, a piece of music that hypnotised her into thinking she's going to do it. Well, it's possible. Well, did you? I'm not saying. <laughs> but being being serious about it, the show, the the drama, the National Geographic drama about uh, Einstein is very very related to the way that uh, Ju Julia and the music team in in Focus That Will work together. He was a scientist. He had his flashes of inspiration That's um, right. by playing his violin. Yep. Mm. Right. So music was a key and critical part of the way that um, he, he was the genius that he was. He touched, of course, on the series Genius, uh, which this piece, the piece of music that you've designed and created, this will be part of the series. And it's a whole channel, a stream on folks that will called Einstein's Genius, which is directly inspired uh, by the way that uh, Einstein used to play Baroque music to help him get into the flow state. Um, it's uh, the thing about um, a, a t a, you know a TV show is that we it's a passive thing you watch it and this is a, an extraordinarily inspiring show the reason that we're sitting here talking to you is that um julia and i both um when we saw the show we were like oh we, we are just huge fans of this it's an incredible story jeffrey rush is amazing in beautiful it. the direction is jaw-dropping it is really phenomenal um and the question is, how can we create that kind of genius for the rest of us? Einstein That's right. Was, how, what can we do? Because we think that everybody has genius in them. And Absolutely. So we, we created this channel. It's inspired by, um, directly inspired by the way that Einstein played the violin to get himself into a into a flow state. Right. And, and Will, as you said, you know, cognitive neuroscientists are moving away from this idea that individual people are geniuses mm -hmm. and more towards this idea that genius is a process and a state of mind. And so that's why we think that this music can actually influence people. We also have scientific evidence showing that, in fact, it does make people more creative. It does boost their ability to keep going on their task that they're focused on. It does boost their b verbal memory, especially for people uh, who are older. Mm -hmm. And it does create this feeling of focus that is directly tied to your ability to do logical tasks. Mm. I mean, Julia, uh, this is a question probably more for you, but, you know, in terms of science, in layman's terms, I would, I would ask you to explain it, but, you know, in, in terms of the science part of it, this music has been um, created and it's been tested on a number of people, hasn't it? And, and the idea being that the music, as you say, in, increases or enhances focus and concentration and amongst other things. How do you test something like that? How can you verify that? in a scientific way. Oh, so what you do is you have people doing regular cognitive tasks that we know test different kind of abilities of your brain. And then you have them do them under two conditions. One is pick whatever song that you would normally work to. And then the other condition is, we're going to play this particular music. And this is the kind of music that we've designed for Focus at Focus at Will. And 
so people, some people would do the regular music first and then focus at will second. Some people would do the opposite order. They would do a whole series of tasks. And then you can just go crunch the numbers and see which one of these wins. It's very, actually very simple to do. We just got 1,800 people to do it. <laughs> wow. That's and then the incredible. Course, the, third, the third condition that we have to test is no music. That's right. right. Oh. So some people don't like any kind of music. What well, actually, 1,500 of those 1,800 people, we did test against no music. Oh, you did, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. and I just crunched those numbers. Mm. This is hot off the presses. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it looks like this is the one for verbal memory, that older people, whether you're listening to silence or whether you're listening to a kind of music that you might want to listen to, it doesn't matter. Your best performance, in, fa in fact, your performance on a verbal memory task that takes you to the level of younger people is when you're listening to Focus at Will. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. Hot off the press. Yep. Coming from <laughs> Dr. Julia Mosbridge. We <laughs> love it. that. <laughs> to me, see, I've always thought of music always, you know, maybe Will, you could explain, but I've always thought it's just a creative process. But the actual engineering part of it, which really this music is, mm -hmm. is that's what we're saying, yes. it's very scientific. It, it is, yes. It's not just a creative piece of work that you say, oh yeah, I'll put that note there, put that note there. So again, fascinating. Where do you begin? Well, um, it, it can actually be, it can be driven by the way the brain works. It all comes back to the brain and the way that your, your brain uh, responds to sound. Um, I, I can quickly say you're used to the way that when you dance to music that your body is reacting to the beats of the music, right? Um, yeah. Where everybody's familiar with the way that works. Well, it turns out your brain also dances to pulses in the music. Yeah, that's and, right. And oh, your, right. Yeah, okay. and they're, they're, it, it's in a different way, but there are brain waves, there are entrainments in your brain that also line up uh, to sounds that come in and pulses from the music. And uh, there is a way to uh, to drive certain uh, uh, frequencies in the brain to make your brain dance, <laughs> to unnecessarily continue the metaphor, um, in a way to help you focus and concentrate. And it's slightly different for everybody. It's not the same uh, for mm. all humans. But there is a way to at least turn off the... Uh, the annoying sounds in the background of your your, your, your internal voices, I should say, um, yeah. by, by playing certain frequencies. Well, I'd just like to share with you, I'm an awesome dancer. Maybe I am a genius. Who uh, right. knows? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, well, and what about your brain? Does your brain dance? You can't see. That's the thing. It's inside yeah, your brain. It, so. it must be. It, it's dancing right now because I did listen to the music, actually. Oh, right. Um, about an hour ago, I was mm -hmm. listening to three of your tracks that you've composed yeah. Yeah. and uh, I was really enjoying it so I think you know maybe uh, there's a little genius in me I'm going to go back to the drawing board and have a little <laughs> bit more of a listen and um, I'd just like to say uh, Will Henshaw and Dr Julia Mosbridge thank you very much for joining us today it's great to speak to you about something that's so fascinating well, thank you Armini thank you so much and Will I can't leave without saying I've been thinking about you. <laughs> I've been thinking about you as well, Amani. i I got to tell you, thank you so much. Thank you. One of my favourite songs, by the way, and I'm not kidding you. Oh, I'm, I'm great. I'm so excited to speak to you, but <laughs> I'm going to get told off for overrunning now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Real to Real Talk. Show us a little bit of love by following us on Facebook, Twitter and realtorealtalk.co.uk. See you next time.